Congratulations on your recent acquisition of a Locky Gizmo. With proper care and maintenance, your Locky Gizmo will provide years of frustration. The Locky Gizmo is physically and cryptographically secured against even the most sophisticated attacks from NSA agents under the age of 10. Let's walk through the security features visually as many of you may not have acquired language skills yet. Your secrets are stored in the bottom compartment and we need to get in. Note that for many of the locks, you'll need the keys. If the keys aren't long enough, unless you release the extension. Okay, first up on the bottom, padlock. Note that for the most unsophisticated attackers, the open compartment here may, if you just put a decoy, may provide um, enough, you know, distraction. Get all these off. That's still connected, so let's unflip that. Right. So, oh, it's right here. The window has to go up. Now on the back of this, you'll see it's written Konami code, so if you Google that, or if you're old enough, you know that it's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, and it undoes. If you screw up, just, um, if you do something wrong, just reset it by pushing down twice, and then you can redo it again. This is an anagram for you to solve later. And it looks like we should be totally in, but it's still not open. So we have to turn our attention to other sides. On the side labeled doohickey, Still doesn't move, so it's a little trick. You need to pull the black and then push in. And that first reveals some of the inside that you'll need to get into the front. Now, there's two other ways for redundancy how to get in. First, let's tackle the top. This needs to be twisted until it comes off. And you have to get into this hitch lock. Now if you can see right here, uh, the password is printed, but it is, oh no, we have a security breach. Okay, so the word lock, the combination is printed right here in black. It's T-I-N-K-R. And plumbing goes up. The pin pulls out at a diagonal, releasing that. And we can now get in the top. The third way to get in is the electronics on the back. So, to turn the whole thing on, we once again need our keys. These are just for fun. These keys don't do anything. These keys. This is the one that has a little toddler friendly extension on it. So, that goes into the back, and to turn it on, go to the right. Okay five sequences to get in. 
They go in any order. On the bottom is a yellow one. On the right is a magnetic switch. And finally, Okay, so now the back is open, and um, be careful with this. Some other toddlers tried to destroy this. Okay, uh, let's see what else. This is just for holding it and getting it around. These are just for fun. This uh, is functional with one of the keys, but it's labeled decoy. It doesn't do anything. And with all of that open, we can see into the interior a little bit. You need to pull up on the brass on the inside. Pull up. All right. There's also a secret trap door into the bottom right there. But now that we've pulled up on that brass, we open the whole thing, and you'll find your spare keys and your top secret folio with illicit pictures of the families involved and a schematic of the whole electronic part and congratulations and link to this. Okay, with that, I hope you enjoy the very robust security of the Lucky Gizmo. Enjoy! <laughs>